Well, hello. Yes, I'm still alive. And um, man, I haven't done one of these vlogs since probably October or something like that. So yeah, it's been a long time. It's now summer. It's June. And uh, I'm on my way to a, a mini pride event here in Minot. Uh, we don't have any uh, official pride thing going on. So we just have the a small event like this. A couple of my friends are putting it on it's just at one of the restaurants. And I thought I'd show you uh, a little bit what it's all about. I don't know what I'm in for. So who knows? It might be uh, a lot of fun. My friends and I, Mike and Thomas, we were sitting at Spicy Pie. A nice, beautiful uh, Minot. Have a good evening. Yeah, you too. Uh, evening. And um, we sat there and said, you know, it's Pride Month, and we're not doing anything in Minot. Uh, the Waverly Group just got done with their event, but we're not doing a Pride event. Mm -hmm. And we stopped and said, you know, why let's celebrate us being gay? Why are we not just say, let's get a place, get everyone together, and we can meet new people? And from there, everything just rolled into place. Um, no kidding, we called Dakota Outright, we called American Red Cross, we called uh, up and down organizations uh, to help out, uh, invited anyone who wanted to come to the table. It's like Thanksgiving, it's gay Thanksgiving. Let's set a table and see who comes. And no kidding, it's been, we estimated 75 people and right now we still have two hours left and we're thinking we've had about 200, 210 people through the door. One story I can tell you when we first started tonight at seven, we had a guy show up, I'm not gonna mention names or what he did. He came in, one of the first guys, he was an older gentleman, uh, in his, uh, I guess, the 50s. And he said, you know, he's like, I'm gay, I'm in the closet. Uh, he's like, I am so happy to see you guys are doing something like this. In all honesty, that right there in the first 15 minutes is why we did this. The ministers, we had uh, the minister from uh, the church I attend, and then the United Church of Christ. And then the minister from All Saints Episcopal came this evening. Uh, they were both here for spiritual, if anyone needed spiritual guidance for talking. OutServe's here tonight. It's just been amazing support. Well, there you have it. My first vlog in about eight months. And I'm glad I, I had a chance to do this one because Pride Minot, I think, was very, very successful. It was a time of fellowship and a time of uh, getting together and finding out who the supporters really are and, and, and who the other gay people in Minot are. Uh, much like the dances do, uh, this was a little bit of a different situation since it was just like sort of coffee and cake is what it was. And uh, it was a very good time. And congratulations to the guys who put this thing together. It was a, it was a fantastic thing. And so until next vlog, which I hope will be soon, um, I want to show around uh, what's going on in Minot because there's a whole lot of different things happening in our small town. And it's kind of amazing because I didn't know half the stuff was happening and I live here. At any rate, I'll see you next time and thanks for watching and take care. Bye.